This is the 12 volt 48 amp power DIY lithium ion phosphate battery that I built more than a year ago. 2P4S configuration and a Dolly not so smart BMS. It has been in operation at my off grid cabin until I switched it out with a couple of hundred amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. It's been hot, it has been cold, and it has been cycled a lot. Now let's see how the battery fares after being in service. We're going to charge it up and do a capacity test. So the battery is uh, fully charged. Now let's do a capacity test to see where, where we are in terms of remaining capacity after about one year of service. Let's reset the tester. Get up. And we will do a can I test. There we go. The number on the capacity test we did after the build right here and we will compare it to this test Let's see how it goes all right so two hours into the test 21.6 amp hours wouldn't it be cool if it all of a sudden performed better than when it was new. So almost four hours into the test. Right now I'm just hoping to reach 40 amp hours maybe. Let's see. All right, so it's been four and a half hours and the results are in. Drum roll, please. 45. 0.32 amp hours. That's not half bad. Now let's talk about the build. Anyone can do this. It's really simple if you understand the basics. So basically, four cells in series means a standard. 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. One, two, three, four. See, I've used eight cells here, but see if you take a look, these two cells are wired in parallel, which means the voltage stays the same. But the amperage increases. Same for this one, and this one, and this one. Then we put them all together. Negative, positive, positive, negative to positive. There we go. If you want, you can check out the entire build video right there. The cells are Lithokala. Really, really cheap cells from AliExpress. Didn't hit the rated capacity that they stated. But 
they work and they're really cheap. So if you're on a budget, go for it. And the BMS is a Dolly BMS. 100 amp power continuous. <clears throat> it's a bit overkill for my scenario. But it was so cheap and I know Dolly BMSs work. If I were to do it again, I would probably buy a BMS with a temperature sensor, maybe even a low temp cutoff as well as high temp. So yeah, you can definitely do this yourself. Put some insulation sheeting between each cell. I'll leave links in the description of the Litocala cells and the Dolly BMS, as well as links to what I would buy now if I were to do it again. And I will make the build as cheap as possible. And yeah, check it out. So now it's time to find a new use for this battery. I've got a few projects going on. Some small 12 volt setups that I want to build. I'll probably show you guys. Um, Got a shed on a cabin that needs power, a shed at home that needs power, and I am working on a camper trailer overnighter kind of thing. So, yeah, I'll probably find use for it. How about you? Have you ever built your own lithium ion phosphate battery? I really want to know. Comment down below. And any pointers you got for me will be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Until next time, I guess.